Yes, as the sign says, only 63 <laughs> days. And Carol Duvall is here again. Great ideas for our Christmas corner, but first, Gary has popcorn art. I don't know, Harry. Go through this pond. i got to be careful. Nobody eats this. We've been going really? through the pop garden looking for anything that would resemble a face, a body, or something. Harry Collin brings up great miniatures. Here's the surprise. They are made from single kernels of popcorn. And here to show us how to turn edibles into art is Harry Kallenberg. Harry? Hi, Gary. Uh, where did the idea come from? I was sitting around one night eating popcorn, and the right kernel just happened to pop up. <laughs> but why? Why not? <laughs> I know. Uh, is it true you go to the theater with a flashlight a sometimes? Flashlight, yeah. I don't believe this. Well, I got it. All right, but I mean, how much time does this consume? 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. So Half at, night when you, at night when you sit and watch television, you... Stop you, painting. You know, okay. It's worth something. All right, let's take yeah. a look at a couple of your favorites, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, this one down here is... Elvis. Elvis. <clears throat> look at that. And then take a look at this one. We all know who this is. This is Mickey Mouse. Huh? Isn't that great? Okay. Now, what's the key here? You just find a piece of popcorn that resembles oh, yeah. something, mm -hmm. and do you alter it in any kind Not of way? Not at all. The way I find it is the way I paint it. All right. Well, show, us, show us how you go about it. Well, you pick a kernel, all you need a bowl is popcorn. Okay. Does it help if you're tired? You've been up 48 hours? Do you start to see things? I see things, popcorn? you know, which are not there. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what do you do? So we'll make a bowl of popcorn, some felt tip markers, mm -hmm. two tips, thick. and polyurethane. All right, what's the polyurethane used polyurethane for? Polyurethane is to preserve them. Oh, I... I paint them, I'll put them on a toothpick and dip them in polyurethane and preserve them. Now, you don't have that problem that lady with the potato chips did. No. Huh? Somebody walked up to her display and started eating them. Well, somebody almost ate mine. They do? Is that why you, you cover them up? I cover them up. <laughs> okay. Protect them. Well, this is wonderful. How many of these have you made, Harry? <clears throat> Over 200. And are they displayed just at the house, at or do you house, take them around? Yeah, we've got them at home and at uh, a couple of galleries, and Ripley's, believe it or not, has purchased right. a few. I want to show you his pièce de résistance, or I should say, really one of them. Take a look at this. This is, what is it, a palm reader? This reader? is a, uh, an oriental uh, fortune teller. And here's the miniature you know. that it was, uh, the photo was taken of this. Isn't that something? Look at that. How much is this worth, we're talking value? This one, Gary, is worth about $1,500. Have you had offers? Yes. My gosh, do you believe that? I'm going to the movies. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Bye -bye. Here's Dana with Carol. <laughs> All right, Carol, you've got another great idea for your Christmas oh, corner. What? The waters have receded. She's a good friend. We'll have that story. And this is a week set aside to honor nurses. And what better person to salute than Ressie Isett? She's seen 60 years of changes in the nursing profession. We'll share her insight tonight at 10. We hope you'll join us. And finally tonight, there's one man in the Metroplex who gives a whole new meaning to the term pop art. His medium is popped corn. Our Jack Helsel at large looks at the artist and his art. Watching TV and munching popcorn. A pastime as American as, well, you get the picture. But in the Harry Cowenberg household, the lowly locale snack plays a higher profile part. If Callenberg's eye sees something special in a certain kernel, it becomes a canvas for this Picasso corn. As I see it, that's the way I paint it. But I put them in polyurethane to preserve them. In that case, I'm in acrylic boxes. Harry's been at this hobby for a couple of years now. Is there a market for this kind? There'd be a market for it. Harry's pretty proud of his puffed up paintings. Prices start at 50 bucks. Find one every week. Our art was purchased with photo and frame for $300 by Ripley's, believe it or not. Believe it or not, Harry still doesn't think it's his best work. I have one of a Chinese uh, fortune teller, well, a golfer, which I sold. And, of course, there's Elvis. People are always seeing Presley's profile someplace or other. Jack Helsel, Texas News unusual, isn't it? <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. That's it for us for now. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you tonight at 10. Until then, for the entire Texas News 5 team, have a nice evening. Good night. His supplies include popcorn and some magic markers. He is Dallas's own popping and painting artist. Here's Mary Rogers with That's Life. This is something that I just had in Cinderella. And I picked one up, curiosity, you know, just to look to see what happens. I mean, what it looks like inside most bowls of popcorn. Now, some kernels, you really can't see anything, like a kernel like this. There's really no shape. It's just a plain kernel.
These are some of his favorites. Orville's Oriental fortune teller, a buttered bag lady, a caveman corn spearing a bird, and porn corn. I have one of a, uh, well, a street walker. <laughs> uh, there's a few uh, favorite ones. That... What do you see in that? Well, there is my right there. There's a beak. If you're ever in a movie theater, Two colonels are alike, so he usually doesn't part with his popped art. Mary Rogers, News 4, Texas. <laughs> Don't believe this. Some of the report for this Monday. Now, on most nights, we go to New York for the CBS News with Dan Rather. Well, not today. Here's a live picture coming from our studio next door, where tonight and tomorrow, Dan will originate his newscast. Pero comenzó su hobby o afición hace tres años. Entre sus favoritas, Elvis, una inspiración de las otras más. Las mismas se hallan en exhibición en una galería de arte en el centro de compras Galería, en el norte de esta ciudad. Callenberg dijo que continuará su hobby por mucho tiempo más. Están increíbles, de verdad. For all you kernel lovers, how about some pop art? Well, meet a man who makes artwork out of the stuff less creative people. The old eat. adage, beauty is in the eye of the... Harry Kallenberg never took an art class and didn't show even down to enjoy an evening's bowl of popcorn. Alex shows a disregard for the potential artwork he might be consuming. To him, it's just... But to his dad, a colonel can be giving Harry all the creative latitude he needs. Later and I'll see something. A woman in the bathtub with the rubber ducky. So the next time you eat popcorn, remember you could be crunching. John Fry from ABC, this is anything we begin tonight with the... If art is a matter of taste, then one Texas man has quite an unusual palate. He's developed his own brand of pop art. CNN's Mike Capps reports. Popcorn. And watching television. Two favorite pastimes for Harry Kellenberg, his wife Esther, and son Alex. And that popcorn became the medium for Kellenberg's art one evening, after he closely examined some kernels before eating them. My sister, uh, Esther, doesn't this look like a, a gorilla? She looks at, looks at me and says, no, leave me alone. I want to watch TV. Stop playing with your food. But Kellenberg persisted. Each kernel, he says, has its own unique shape and characteristics, much like a snowflake. I see in popcorn what I used to see in clouds. And now it's formed into the popcorn, but fill in the lines. Adding color with fine-tipped pens, Kellenberg's kernels take on a life of their own. There's a rabbi, a court jester, and dogs, dozens of dogs. Prices range from $25 to $300 per item. Not enough to make popcorn art his life's work. It could be maybe one day. You know, I've got a few people that buy them on a regular basis that are collectors. And he's also sold his work to 17 Ripley's Believe in Museums. Ripley's representatives say Kellenberg's work is a natural. Just the mere fact that anyone it would ever enter anyone's mind is what attracted us to it. Why would anybody sit down and put brush to popcorn? Why? Give me a reason. Harry Kellenberg doesn't understand either. To him, and typical artist fact, it just seems right. Well, that's the future for it. If somebody uh, has an idea of even doing greeting cards, even doing card cartoons. Perhaps a Steven Spielberg movie. P.T., the popcorn terrestrial. But what if Harry Kellenberg tires of his role as popcorn Picasso? He's training son Alex to paint, so one day, son should be ready to take over. Maybe. Mike Capps, CNN, Dallas. <laughs> and that concludes this edition of Prime News in Washington. I'm Bernard Shaw. And I'm Susan Rook at CNN Center in Atlanta. We'll see you again in one hour. Larry King Live pops your way next. A form of popcorn. Yeah, uh, Fox 4's Jeff Crilly has found an artist uh, whose work contains more than a kernel of truth. Oh, Sorry about that. Oh, how many puns yeah. are we going to have today? <laughs> a lot. You know me. I know. Right? I'm making without my puns. You know, moms and dads, it's a rainy day. The kids are going to be wanting, well, there's nothing to do. Well, you can take them out to the mall and drop 50, 60 bucks, or for the cost of some jiffy pop, you got them entertained all afternoon. This is Harry Kallenberg. He is a pop artist. And, and you just discovered one day that, that popcorn, popcorn has, has art has qualities? Art quality. This is his little pop art gallery. Why don't you show us? What do you got right here? Uh, this is a man in shining armor. Oh, I can Come see. Just a little prop that I buy one of the little <laughs> shops. That's amazing. Uh, okay, who's this? 
That's Moses with the Ten Commandments. Oh, I can see that. You yeah, see the little, little Ten Commandments? Tablet? That's uh -huh. cool. That's cool. Then okay, you cool. got a little catnap. It's cat <laughs> a little catnap. Yeah, and then you got a, a guy up there with an ant on his back. And he... This is Elvis, the king. Now he's the colonel. This is amazing. Thank you. Okay, Harry, we're going to go over there to the couch where Great. your son is already busy working on a uh, potential masterpiece. And you're going to show us how to do this. Go ahead and take a seat. So, um, you just you grab just, popcorn? Just make a bowl of popcorn. It's got to be hot air pop. Uh -huh. We'll sit down. Uh, we make it a point every uh, once a week. We'll sit down, turn off the TV, and sit and paint popcorn. Yeah, but it could take like five hours to finish a bowl. That's right. That's right. You what know, look, looking at each one. On? A bowl. No, what, you, what is that? A bowl. A bowl? A bowl. Nope. Well, I'm, I just dropped his masterpiece. masterpiece. All right, show it to the camera here. What do we got? Show me, show me where it is. Okay, so we got the eyes here going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, smoke. Some smoke. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Keep working on that. And I've been, you know, started painting on one, Jeff. I got a, one of a dog over here. Uh -huh. that a, I'm, dog? A, a dog? Oh, a dog. A dog that I'm just putting on the, some finishing touches. This is neat. Now, how'd you get this idea, Harry? Uh, a few years ago, we were sitting down, uh, just Esther and I, and uh, I picked up a kernel, looked at it, and it resembled a, a gorilla. <laughs> and I said to Esther, doesn't this look like a gorilla? It, you're, it was, you're I mean, a very the shape. Man. <laughs> I've never analyzed stuff. Uh, yeah, the shape was there. All I needed was just color. <laughs> and I took out my pen and started painting it, and it turned out uh, just as I saw it. And from then on, the uh, colors started coming in, and, and, and shapes started. Uh, shapes were there. You uh -huh. know, the shapes, you know, popcorn. Uh, there's no two kernels that look alike. It's like snowflakes. Like snowflakes. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you can find a lot of, you know, I, you know, popcorn is my median, you know, that's my canvas. That's right. Wow, and you've got a whole uh, palette of popcorn. Of popcorn, yeah. Here. After I paint them, uh, Jeff, I uh, dip them in polyurethane. I put them on a toothpick. I dip them in polyurethane. That preserves them. I've got some kernels here that are about 10 years old. Are you serious? And they're still preserved. Wow. Mm-hmm. They still... Uh, that it, they still preserve. It probably they tastes good. like some, some of the worms. Crunch, a little crunchy, a little crunchy. <laughs> a little crunchy, a uh, little crunchy, and there's good nutrients there. That's now, right. I wanna, I've been working on one right here, and uh, I'd like to show it right now. This is, uh, this is Glenn Murray with a real bad case of acne. I don't know if you can see that <laughs> right there. And you know what the best part of all this is? There's a better part? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mess up. There you go. And you can eat your mistakes. Harry is never going to be a starving artist, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You just ate a masterpiece. That was Glenn's head. <laughs> Very nice. And coming up next on Monday Dallas, speaking of food, our... Is that a... When most people look at popcorn, they see food. But Harry Kallenberg isn't most people. When his family eats a bowl of popcorn, it can take hours. Look at that. They wouldn't want to munch on a Monet. <laughs> Look, I found Kermit. Okay, so you might not see Kermit just yet. But wait. When Harry puts pen to popcorn, a portrait is never far away. We all have shaves, but some kernels don't, don't have any art in them. They're just edible. Harry has taken doodling to a whole new dimension. I call her three faces of Eve, because when you look at her a different position, you'll see three different faces. His pop art gallery now includes hundreds of crunchy creations, from Moses and the Ten Commandments, to fortune tellers, to popcorn puffing on a pipe. It's like looking at clouds. You see the same, I see the same thing in clouds as I see in popcorn. Harry is never quite sure whose face is gonna pop out at him. He saw Cowboys quarterback Troy Aikman in this one. He saw E.T. phoning home in another. He even found the king in one kernel. But the real question is, why? People have canvases and people have uh, different things that I paint on, so why not popcorn? Why not be original? But before you go writing Harry off as just an artist, here's some food. He sold some of his artwork for $300 a pop, and it took him just 10 minutes to bring Kermit out of this kernel. If I got a study of the kernel, then there's nothing in there. Now, being a popcorn artist does have its downside. For instance, Harry Kallenberg will never be a starving artist. Jeff Crilly, News 4 Texas. And that is it for us on News for Texas at 6. Thank you for joining us. And a reminder, the Stanley Cup final... ...the paint. And not only that, be held in the palm of your hand. John Prock tells us about it in this edition of Texas Tales. You could say that for Harry Kellenberg, watching popcorn pop is almost as exciting as watching paint dry. We'll explain.
You see, after Harry and his family popcorn, they eat some of it and save a few kernels for artistic expression. Looking like a regular piece of popcorn, which wait till I turn it around. It transforms into a disco dancer. Uh, mob colors, uh, bell-bottom pants. The Kallenbergs see all sorts of faces. Put color on it, you'll see it. Faces that Harry started painting 10 years ago. I mean, why would anybody want to paint popcorn? The first question they ask me. And as always, I mean, somebody has to do something. And popcorn was the right medium for me to paint on. That's an Irishman with a pipe on his Beauty and the Beast. A uh, donation. Lucy, our famous Lucy. At an art lesson, still, this plain old businessman has turned nearly 300 kernels of popcorn. Match. His nine-year-old son Alex seems to have a knack for eating, as well as painting popcorn. So baby, I did this, and it took me probably ten minutes. Harry says that only dry popcorn can be painted on. And of course, once it's art, it shouldn't be eaten for a lot of reasons. He dreams of marketing his idea. The popcorn, pens, and an illustration booklet haven't hit the stores yet. Until then, the Kallenbergs continue to in their heads. It takes us six hours to finish a bowl of popcorn. <laughs> John Prompt, Channel 8 News. See, I bet it tastes bad, though, when you start eating that art. <laughs> sticks in your teeth. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. See you tomorrow. Good night. You can watch News 8 Live on the world. Again, because our next guest will demonstrate how he can create pop portraits just about anywhere. And please welcome Plano popcorn artist, Harry Kallenberg. Popcorn artist. Popcorn artist. Harry, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. We're not just talking about pop art here, folks. We're talking popcorn art. <laughs> yeah. And this is, this is real. You're like the kernel of the popcorn art. Now. Almost. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Sorry. That was a good joke. Ooh, yeah. How <laughs> I just do you start? Art. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can see if someone has a canvas and some oils, and then they start painting. Mm -hmm. How do you start doing popcorn art? Well, I sit down there, Brent, with a bowl of popcorn, and just go through one by one. I look at popcorn, it's like looking at clouds. Uh -huh. They the same shapes, the only thing I put color on them. I hope it's going to become very popular. Um, <laughs> I'll, uh -oh. I'll catch up with you, uh -oh. Scott. Uh -oh. you know, I, thought, I thought mine were bad. Um, that was Harry, a good one there. I gotta ask you this. I think the obvious question is, what were you doing? Where were you when you when this this, <laughs> this, this, this brilliant idea popped popping into your head? head? I was just popping around. Uh -oh. So how do you do this? Let's see how we do this. Well, we look at you pick up popcorn, uh -huh. look at a kernel, and you imagine what's on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's, we're going to well, try there's nothing on there. There's no butter. There's no there's cheddar no butter, cheese. There's no, there's no, cur there's caramel. no oil. Wait, nothing. Eating on that one. May as well use that one. <laughs> that, was a, that was a masterpiece. Just that was a masterpiece yeah. I just made. Okay. Let's hope so this we turns just kind of imagine just something. Imagine, now, do you have to be yeah. a good artist to do this? Not really. Just okay. imagination. imagination. It's okay. like Charlie Brown yeah. laying down in the uh, field okay. looking up at the clouds. Uh, that one, you is there a certain kind of popcorn that uh, you use? There is. Big popcorn? Uh, Pops right. Pops right. Oh, Pops right. Or a Redenbacher. Or a Redenbacher. Yeah. Hard to pronounce that name. <laughs> I heard the few that we did a little bit earlier. In fact, yeah. I did this little doggy here. Isn't that cute? Now, now, wait, like... wait a second. You say you did a little doggy? <laughs> well, use your imagination. Didn't we say imagination oh, okay. was the key to this? Here, put it up to that camera right there, Harry, and they'll... And we'll see if this looks... All right. Well, kind of like Snoopy. Yeah, yeah there That's you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's look That's at some of, your, some of your finished works here. We saw a little bit of those in the beginning there. These are you elegant. you embellished them yeah. with, um, with the There's casing. There's Elvis. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. And when did you... Uh... <laughs> Harry, you must have a lot of time. <laughs> I do. After work. <laughs> when did... Uh... You know, between raising a five-year-old, I find plenty of time. I understand. I understand. <laughs> um, <laughs> How do you put them in the settings, and, and do you have help? Do you, does your five-year-old help you with this? Yeah, he helps me eat them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be a great thing, though, uh, entertainment for kids. That's right. They can that's keep right. them busy, that's and I guess right. they have to concentrate right. a lot. You know, but, uh, kids have a lot of imagination, and, you know, and kids see things that grown-ups don't see. Right. True. And they'll, you know, they'll say, can you draw this for me or paint this for me? And I'll say, sure. And I just, whatever I think is on there, I'll paint. Okay. Well, let's, let's, you have a bowl of popcorn yeah. there. Got a bowl let's of come popcorn. up with something. We've got about two minutes here. Here's, Scott. Here's a pen for you. Oh, good. Thanks. Okay. okay. I can't find anything that looks like that dog and you just, I did. I have early. a pen. And we're just, we're all set. And if you want to do and, some hair uh, or lips. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what I see here? I see, okay. I've, I've already so, done it. Can you use just any kind of pen on this? 
Uh, I usually use felt up marker. Because the color this comes out. Right. color comes right off here. and they're easy yeah. to paint. They're real fine. Okay, here's my, a cloud. <laughs> a cloud. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? <laughs> no. It is. <laughs> now, if somebody wanted to uh, take one of these and kind of do what you did with yours, mm -hmm. do they, it looks like there's lacquer on here or something. Now, what do you put yeah, on there? I, I, I dip them in polyurethane and that okay. preserves them. Because otherwise, Ooh, your popcorn will just shrivel up, right? It's like if you had water on it. And it protects protects other people from protects eating them. them. Yeah, I what kind of, uh, you air pop all your popcorn? Yes, I do. Okay, and you have, there's no fat in it, there's it's nothing. All, it's all cholesterol. All right, right, it's not right. Yeah. 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 I got a question. Which is heavier, a kernel of popcorn or a feather? You popcorn. do? So which, you want to do the, uh, do the test. Isaac Newton thing? We have the feather, we have the popcorn on this camera, this okay. camera. Okay? We'll just... <laughs> we'll see which one falls. We'll drop them. <laughs> Let's see. Let's drop them right here. And the winner is... Hey, it's about the same. It's about a tie. That's amazing. I tried to do a teenage mutant... Ninja, Ninja popcorn, yeah. Popcorn, That's but I great. don't think that will work. Harry, but anyway. <laughs> we are out of time. We appreciate class projects for everybody on the next, crew. Next time you go to a movie theater, it'll never be the same eating popcorn. I can't eat it. Well, I'll that's be true. a masterpiece right. in every one. But you won't be able to watch the movie. That's right. You'll be sitting there in the <laughs> dark. flashlight. Trying to... flashlight. Exactly right. Thank you so much. Harry, thanks for coming by. That's it for today. We're in the uh, mood for some hot, buttery popcorn. Okay. Listen, if you have any questions about the segments you've seen on Good Morning Television,